are called by friends and family all across the world. I'm here to present Earl of Botswana. This book was published by Austin Macaulay Publishers and I'm also the author of Earl of Botswana. Before we continue the story, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you love trees? When was the last time you hugged a tree? When was the last time you planted a tree? Earl of Botswana is about environmental stewardship. I wrote this book for all the children in the world. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you that I still have my crystal ball. And with this crystal ball, I can see you all over the world, ensure that you are paying attention to the story by asking you a few questions every now and then. When I say once upon a time, you will say time, time. Once upon a time, time, time. Crystal ball, were they loud enough? My crystal ball tells me you weren't loud enough. You could be louder. So let's try it one more time. Once upon a time. 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 Earl, do you think they were loud enough? Earl is shaking her head. She said, you weren't loud enough. You could be louder. Let's try it one more time with more energy. Once upon a time. Time, time. Perfect. Welcome to Earl's world. The sun dances in the sky. Elle wakes up with a smile. She wants to plant more trees in Botswana. It's time to go to the beach. She builds a sand castle with trees around it. Elle runs from the waves as she collects seashells. She then sits in a canoe to admire the changing colors of the leaves beyond the bay. She counts seven seashells. These are well hidden in her pouch. Let's count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven seashells. It's time to sell the seashells at the market by the bay. The first trader wants the shells for nothing. For nothing? No, L is shrewd. The second trader wants the shells for three shillings. She wants a little more. The third trader buys the shells for four shillings. L smiles.
She sits by the bay to watch the sunset beneath a canopy of trees. Elle really, really loves nature. And I encourage you to also practice the things that Elle does by enjoying nature, by practicing mindfulness. It's time to go home now. The moon is high and the tide is low. She hears the moon whisper good night. Have you ever heard the moon whispering to you? Have you? Let me check my crystal ball. Oh no, you haven't heard the moon whispering to you. I encourage you to pay more attention to the moon. The moon has something to tell you. Elle's piggy bank is almost full now. You see all the money she's been saving? In a piggy bank she's saving it to buy more seedlings to plant trees all across Botswana she dreams about life in Botswana with more trees thank you for visiting Earl's world and I encourage you to plant more trees across the world or to donate money to a charity that plants trees across the world. Let's help Elle plant more trees all over the world. Thank you. Stay safe and have fun.